Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll show you how to access your Windows PC or laptop from a Chromebook. You can actually access your Windows PC or laptop not only from Chromebook but from your mobile device or cell phone or a tablet as long as you have Chrome browser installed under the same login ID and password on both devices. So in order for this work, you're going to have to set up Google Remote Access uh, or Google Remote Desktop uh, Access on the Windows PC and then you will be able to you know access the Windows computer from a Chrome browser or Chromebook. So I'm going to be actually using a slightly different browser which is also a Chrome based browser and it will also work. Uh, the reason for that that you know I have some kind of difficulty on this computer when I use Chrome browser. Uh, I do not know why so basically like you know I'm going to be using the Brave browser to show you how this work but uh, it's going to be the same steps and same process uh, and the reason Brave browser is going to work because Brave actually is a Chrome based browser so anything works on Chrome would work on Brave uh, so it's easier for me to show you on a Brave browser because Chrome has like you know difficulty with this uh, laptop for some strange reasons so this is the Windows PC right here and let's open up uh, the Brave browser and you're gonna have to go to this web address which is uh, remote desktop dot google dot com or if you do not remember you can just search for Google uh, remote desktop See we're on uh, remote desktop dot google dot com you're going to see a page like this and you'll see that you know set up remote access message so all you have to do just hit you know the button where it's going to install the extension or the software on this computer so once you hit that you're going to see this message uh, Google Chrome desktop add to brave and then if you just add this extension then it's going to be added to right here so it's just installing uh, you know the software and then you have to just you know accept and install okay now you can see that it's giving a name uh, to your computer which is actually the name of this computer so you can choose any name but it's it just you know chose a computer name and then you just hit next and it's asking you to enter a pin number which has to be a six digit number so i'm going to just you know name it one two three four five six one two three four five six and then re-enter and then start okay now you can see the message that starting uh, the remote desktop and this computer is configured to allow one or more clients to connect without entering the pin and you can see the message here that online so let's just move this little bit so you can see that you know it's giving you the message online so what this means that now if you go to a Chrome browser or Chrome based browser on any other device for example a Chromebook or Windows PC uh, sorry or cell phone or mobile phone or tablet then you'll be able to access this computer so I'm going to just you know move this little bit here and then I'm going to bring my uh, Chromebook and on this Chromebook actually I'm I'll open a Chrome uh, browser because uh, you know it it is it works just fine here so I'm going to go to the same address Google remote desktop and hit enter and then I'm going to just go to the page and here you can see that it's already showing that the my other computer which is uh, the Windows laptop is online and you can see the you know uh, name which is OR4DBE7 and if I bring this over here you can see that it has the same name so now let's just uh, 
so this is the Chromebook and I'm going to just you know press here online and then you can see that you know it's accessing my uh, Windows uh, computer and it's asking to enter the pin so one two three four five six and enter and then you can see that it's working and right now I have access to my other computer so basically what you're seeing right here is from the this computer behind this computer which is right there now you can see that this is the Chromebook and you can see that you know the desktop of the tablet or my Windows computer is showing here so what I'm going to do let's open up uh, one of my YouTube uh, you know video here okay so this is the Windows PC uh, you know the video file uh, for one of my videos and you can see that you know it's playing this video on my tablet or Windows PC but now you can see the same video playing here uh, which is you know right here okay so you can see that I can control this computer from here so now let's open a file which I have my book cover uh, so let me just show you right now that I can I have full control of my Windows computer from my Chromebook which is right here and here you can see that you know there's a small book uh, my cover of my book invest now so if I just hit it here and see that it's opening here and you can see that you know I have at the same time it's opening there so basically I'm just you know accessing uh, my other Windows computer from this computer so in this way you can actually like you know run any program or do anything let me just show you that you know if I go to the menu on here from the Windows button and then I can see that you know all the program which I have my on my Windows computer so which are right here so basically I have full access to my other computer and let's just open up something else so I'm going to be clicking a picture file which I have right here and let's take a look here so I can see that you know this file is open here and if I just click on Sydney and it's just like you know showing all the video files which I took in Sydney and this is from the Chromebook and I can see that this is open on the Windows computer so basically right now I have full access of this computer okay so now I'm just going to you know set aside the Chromebook and we're going to you know uh, discontinue sharing the access so when you want to end the session you have to just you know close the browser or if you want to remove a specific computer because you can have like you know more than one uh, device then you have to just hit the delete button and it will remove the uh, button or the device from the list so we we'll just you know close the browser and then that should end our Chrome session hey guys I just added this part later on so when you click on your main screen the computer which you're going to share and if you come to a section like this uh, which is going to be showing up right uh, now uh, this is actually just lets you like you know uh, control uh, how much you can uh, you know share on the main screen this is not actually a scam or n no one is hacking your computer so what happened I don't like this part uh, Google did a very bad job uh, you know controlling the screen on this uh, portion so at first I thought this is like you know, someone was trying to scam me or hack me but this is not actually a hack this is just like you know this portion gives you control how much you can you know uh, control for the other person to see or access on your computer I you don't have to like you know use this part I don't use this part but this is just something I wanted to show you and uh, I hope Google is going to make this more user friendly. This is very, you know, user unfriendly, and this is not something you know you'd expect from Google because Google 
seems to be like you know everything should be simple and easy not like in a complicated like this it kind of looks like in you know, a windows uh, error screen you're receiving so i just wanted to show the show you this one that's all for today thank you for watching this video forget about subscribing this channel forget about liking this video there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you